I fried an egg on that fire. I did too. Awesome, guys. We don't want to heat up the house, so we're cooking outside today. And we're not just cooking on like a grill or something like that. We're cooking on a home-built rocket stove. This is just made out of lightweight um, ceramic bricks, something that you'd find inside a, a kiln, like a pottery kiln. But we found these for very cheap online. Actually, they're, they're really lightweight. Um, you can't tell by looking. <laughs> But yeah, they're about a third of the weight of normal bricks. A rocket stove is nothing more than just a chimney, essentially, that you can cook on top of, and the fire is built at the bottom, and the air goes in, and as it sucks in and goes up, and creates kind of a rockety sound. If you've ever blown on a, on a hot fire in a fireplace, you, yeah, you hear that sound, just like a sound. Well, the rocket stove, when it's going really good, makes that sound and it's really, really efficient. We tested it out last year and discovered that this actually can heat up a pot of boiling water much quicker than our stove can um, indoors on high. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and it's free to use too. Just sticks and weeds. And we can fry an egg in no, a minute. No, no. About a minute probably, huh? So the fuel that we're using is just random sticks um, from the trees, pieces of kindling, firewood. It's amazing how much heat can come off of such a small fire. The reason being that none of that heat actually leaves. I've had this thing going for hours and hours, and we could still very easily touch the outside of it. So well, it's all on a that wooden heat, table, if that helps you understand. That's true, yeah, it's on a wooden table. It's never been scorched or anything. But anyway, we've been very happy with this design, which actually Lizzie made. <laughs> so I'm gonna make some flatbread, which is of their request. Do you see the fire? Yeah, I can get one out. We need to put it back in afterwards so it can get our pan hot. Oh. Woo. <laughs> this is the pizza dough recipe I use in my pizza, my pan pizza video. So if you want to check that out, you can see how I fry it up and top it with cheese and tomatoes. That sounds really good. I actually have cheese and tomatoes. Yeah. Ever, that's a good idea. What a good seat. Careful, Banjo. So this might cook extra fast. Is it? It kind of cooled it's down. It's probably low. You stick it in further. We need more. Oh, we need more. Some more sticks. You want to get us more sticks? Pretty good. <laughs> Here's what I did to make it burn faster. It smells good. Yeah. A little, little smoky though, is that right there? Now that's probably a little too high. Yep. So, since it's too high, all we have to do is pull some of these sticks out a little bit. Look at that red in there. It looks like lava inside. Looks like lava inside. It does, you're right. We can't burn this. Is that the cheese? Yeah, we want that to melt on our flatbread. Mm -hmm. Can I take a bite? Mm, of one of them. One? <laughs> yeah. This one? Sure. Just <laughs> one bite. Just a tiny one? 
<laughs> you want a bite? Yeah. That's the same one. Mm, thank you. <laughs> I want my flatbread to have more color than that. Yeah, so we need to turn it up a little bit. Oh, that's nice. I like it when my flatbread has some color on it. And then I can add the cheese that everybody ate. I just uh, cut I up a whole bunch and now it's gone. Oh, Banjo's holding it and oh. kind of eating it. Ha! <laughs> ready? I like plain flatbread. I do it. Plain flatbread with no cheese? I don't want you to get burnt up. So we're actually tucked in the northeast corner of the house and we get so much shade here. So what we want to do eventually is build a permanent summer kitchen here. So we're kind of just testing it out in a way. I mean we cooked on, we cooked here last year but it, we want to make it permanent now. And we, yes we will still use a rocket stove. We're not going to hook it up to propane or anything. Yeah and I want to make a clay oven. Yeah like a pizza oven. Yeah. <laughs> I want one in, I want one of those in, in our house too. Yes. In a way this is practice for us for when we go off grid completely. Well you don't want want to even have propane at all. Just wood. We actually moved the rocket stove to be oriented sideways, which actually makes a lot more sense. We should have done that a long time ago. <laughs> Now Laura Jean can cook without us having to. Burn my kneecaps. Yeah. <laughs> and now we can stick longer sticks in, which is kind of the idea. Yeah. Yummy. Oh, it smells amazing with the garlic. Bam! <laughs> Made homemade meal! That's right. So in considering the idea of putting one of these in our house, I'm actually quite impressed with how easy it is to figure out. I really think I could manage. I mean, if I can get this to cook really nice, and the only reason that's burnt is because I waited too long. But I think this is actually quite easy to manage. I could easily figure out how to get this hot enough to boil or warm enough, cool enough to cook a pancake, it's actually, the learning curve is quite fast. Just turn it down, turn it up, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, like I kind of want to go off the, I want to build a stove this before this winter. You finally came down off your tower, Rapunzel. <laughs> my, oh, and we can... my, my castle has a ladder on it. Yeah. It's sure it does. <laughs> well, dinner's done, and so now I guess it's time to work in the garden a little bit before bedtime. So, thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, I can have another one. Yeah. <laughs> when you subscribe, make sure to click the bell right there. Like that. Down. Yeah. Bye. That's <laughs> <laughs> green from the house. Okay. Okay. Fried cheese. Mm. Mm.
<laughs> you silly. <laughs> Wow, and that's been out for 10 minutes. <laughs> that's right. That's just fun. <laughs> I love doing that whenever I make an empire. Now I can draw with that one. Tell him nicely, like, excuse me, I'm getting quicker. <laughs>